Husky jeans is a lot of things to a lot of people. I think we're kind of a, um, how do I say it, kind of a fixture in Glasgow, I would say. We see college kids here before mom and dad see them. We've had marriage proposals here, first dates. They're sitting on the same side of the table. It's like, all right, first date. <laughs> We've had people say this is the best pizza that they've ever had. And people that live in big cities will come and say, this is still the best. And I think it has a lot to do with the Dolan sauce. Eugene's was started by a man named Eugene Barger back in 1962. In 1967, my parents bought Eugene's. Sam was only 11 months old. He's basically spent his whole life here. <laughs> I was just here all the time. Build things out of cardboard boxes, basketball hoops out of number 10 tin cans. I started making pizzas when I was 15 for $1.60 an hour. In high school, you know, I worked here a little bit, but then I went off to college. My parents were getting close to wanting to get out of doing this. They'd done it for 25 years. Jeff was delivering beer and wine at the time, and I was actually fixing copiers. And we talked about it. You know what, let's just do it. About a month into it, we looked at each other and said, what did we get ourselves into? <laughs> We've continued to run it for 25 years coming to this same building for 50 years. So a long time. But it's just what we do. <laughs> My mom, she's been with us the whole entire time. You don't see a lot of 80-year-old women working as hard as she does. I uh, used to work more than I do. After having heart surgery, I decided I'd cut down one day. She can work circles around most younger people. You just kind of just better get out of her way because she's <laughs> she's moving and shaking. Usually, I start breading chicken, cutting potatoes, make dressings. She's chopping lettuce. She's portioning ribs. Hey, Mom, have you got time to make dough? Last night, we went through about five batches of dough, so you're going to have to start with a big batch tonight. But I, I'll try to get that all ready for them. She still does all the laundry. I can do it. She says she does it better. She gets it whiter. So we just let her. I kind of know what's going on. She just does so much that people don't realize. She'll work all night long, leave at 11, 30, 12 o'clock at night, and she might not have sat down the whole night. And she might not have eaten. She'll go home and she'll have cold cereal. She's the hardest worker I know. Crazy. Basically, since my dad's time, we have not changed a thing. You know, so if somebody says, well, it tastes different, well, it shouldn't. Always the dough the same, always the sauce. I mix all the pizza spices myself. I use the same exact measuring that he used. We don't change anything. We have three ovens, top oven, bottom oven, new oven. The new oven, which is no longer a new oven, it's like 1974. I would say that everybody should work in a restaurant at least once in their life. On a Friday, we're so busy that we get about five to six batches of dough ready to go, 280 pizzas, roughly. We've been throwing the dough for basically 55 years. People say, well, why do you do it? And we say, well, it's because we can. A lot of people talk about it, a lot of people love it. Get done cleaning, do the till, get home about 12, 30, 1 o'clock in the morning. So it's, it's a long day. My dad died in 2010. His presence, you know, him not being here, that was kind of a big deal. He worked every day, and he used to be open until 2.15 in the morning. I don't know how he did it. We kind of struggle with time the way it is right now. And we had my dad's funeral. We had everybody come here. All the employees came down and made pizzas. There were 58 former employees at the funeral. They really have supported us. So he's, he's a big part of this place and always will be. I still have people asking, when are you going to retire? I can see she's exhausted at night. And I'll say, how long do you want to do this? And she's like, 
I'll do it till I can't do it anymore. I know for a fact that she does it to help Jeff and I. I would not work like I do if they didn't work like they did. She could want to be done at any time. I told her she can't. I don't think she wants to. I don't, I wouldn't care if she slowed down, but I still want her around. So I don't know. I don't think she'll retire and just play cards, you know. <laughs> we'll have to wait and see. The restaurant business, it's a tough deal. Just the day-to-day -day things of trying to keep your head above water. I get a little bit bitter just because my kids are getting older now and I'm missing things that I want to be there for. So that's a little bit hard. It's just a, a balancing act, you know. Just, just do what you can. You miss a little bit of stuff with having to work nights and weekends, uh, but it's just like any job. You don't want to go, but once you get there, it's all right. I see families grow from one kid to four kids over the years. Parents go from young to old. I've been here that long, so. <laughs> That's one of the nicest things about this business is I've gotten to know so many good people. So I'm very thankful for that. Well, I think we're a real integral part of the business community. Every now and then we have some hiccups and mistakes and stuff, but we try to do the absolutely best job we can. They almost always have pizza. I truly think it's the best pizza I've ever had in my life. It is my favorite pizza. I had one on Monday. I'm eating the pizza and going, good God, this is good. <laughs> so I still love it. I'm very proud of what we sell and what we do. We got a lot of huge fans out there. Yeah, it's just, it's just a big deal to a lot of people. It's a big deal to Jeff and I and my mom, all the employees, all these kids that work here. Pretty, pretty neat. Yeah.